there it is again, this deep music and a deep Stellaris game. Well, it's it's going deep into the 2400s and we're from our so-called economic standpoint, we're in Candyland. We can afford almost anything. The only thing we need is alloys. And we're working on the alloys. We're working on the alloys. We're even um, buying them now. Whenever we got something like too much of something, we'll try to buy. Because there's just there's just that. Oh my goodness, we have much too many consumer goods, but we also need the workplaces, and in the long run we'll need these. Because we, are, we have started to build habitats again too. And, uh, oh, well, ah, let me make this faster, right? What happens now? Mm, mm, a little bit out of trade. What happens now? 22, maybe let's go, go to one more here. Then we have the volatile modes. Oh, they are surely the problem. And the crystals. Oh, they are the problem. Yeah, 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 I see. I see now. Gravitara Newton has developed new skills. Expertise military theory. Wow. Just circling there and developing that. That's very nice. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, usually, I, I, I think this is still the case. So, if you have people working in the lab, they don't get traits. They go, don't get positive traits, nor do they get negative traits. If you have them somewhere in space, if you have them exploring, they have a high possibility to gain, to gain some new traits, positive or negative. Don't get me wrong. So if you, if you have the perfect scientist, don't send him out in space. Keep him in the lab where he's safe. Mm. If they're circling around a planet, there is a small chance that he'll also get some kind of trait. So that's good too. Like that's that's the mix a bit. So the boring scientists are put going to be put in. Into these uh, positions circling around a planet. Construction complete. And then they become less boring. And that's very useful. What do we need here? I'd really like the bureaucratic complex or something, but I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Galactic Stock Exchange. Also useful. Research Institute, useful as well. A temple would be useful. Mm. I mean, you can see here we have unity. I mean, one of the best ones would probably be um, the temple, because we can expand on that. And it gives research and quite a good good unity out, output here. So we're gonna go for that. We have 11, my goodness. Swarming rocks has no place where they can live. But they still grow, I believe. Do they grow? They grow. They grow at 6.46, at so that, that's not much, but still they grow. And we can give them more room here, can we? I mean, we have a fortress here. Not really, I'd, I'd just add this, just in case. Just in case we have enough people. In a, sir. Two times the specialists. That means we need the sacred nexus, or the citadel of faith, as you can see here. That would be good. Construction complete. 
there's a lot coming here. Fortress of the Skies has two trade districts. I have no clue why this thing has trade districts. It makes no sense. We have the Hall of Judgment, we have the Holo Temple. We have the Clone Vats. We want this to grow. Yeah, that's all the stations that are um, being redeveloped, if you want so. So how many jobs do you have here? It's 10 jobs we have here. Wow. We'll need to work on that to, to make that going. We'll start with this. I got the spiral skies, that's too early. Construction complete. And here we've got something. What's that? Oh, that's the gas extraction boats. They're also very, very helpful. And we have now one district left. Let's build that one then. What do we have here? We have people that have no jobs. No, we have tons of jobs available. We can just... We can just chill. We have also 50 amenities. We have mastered a new technology. Oh goodness, here, here we go. There's a lot happening now. That thing has been constructed. The plentiful cache of Nautilon. Kesretov Station. We need something to improve our trade routes and to protect them. Ah. Uh, maybe let's choose a gun battery. Then we need something here. Uh, we can do that later. It could be a trade hub. I think that helps as well with the trade. Let's see. Off -world, yeah, the Off-World Trading Company. It's pretty good. Then we have Benjamin Mendel. This leveled up nicely. And administrative efficiency, which he has improved. Which is pretty good. I think we need more leader lifespans. I could be wrong. Administrative efficiency would also be good, a good idea again. But Benjamin Mendel is, I mean, he's respectable, but he only has the expertise. So, wow. I think we're gonna go for this. And leader lifespan is, is so important for us still. And we have the good Ghidorah. But maybe, maybe look at that. We have twenty percent. And 6%, so we have 26% here. That would be really helpful, 26%. Then we have Ghidorah. She has 14 and 15, that's much better. 29%. Leader life span. Here we go. We just had someone on a ship again. Because one ship is now without anyone. Benji Mendel, here we go. Then we have the strategic coordination. You should be able to click on that and it should propel you to it. Like like with the colonies, right? Why not do that here as well? Ah! I mean, you even have these clickable things here. Oh, look, we need 15,000. Wow. That's plenty. 15,000. That's just wow. Hmm. So let's let's take a step back, stretch and watch the the galaxy develop. What does the galaxy do? It blinks. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I think we have something that could be blinking. Let's upgrade this to a holo temple just just now already. We have something that should be blinking, and that's in the situation log. Give me the situation log. 
We have the alien specimen procurement. We should really go for that. I know it's late in the game, but it's fun to do that. And we will be curious as we're seeking for uh, Nautilon's traces. So, where is the blinking? It's all around us, but it's not inside our systems. It's in the Whispering Garden Nebula. It's all around us. Really, but not where we are. Really odd. Now, now Inessa though. The hull. The armored hull of the Strategic Coordination Center houses the cream of our military command who devote their time to strategy and planning in this state-of-the-art facility. 15,000. That's, cra that's a crazy amount. That's a crazy amount. But it's a good use. It's really a good use for building the Yukon doing what it can 50,000 that's hefty look at that the workplaces the income something has happened as we have you seen that here the drop in consumer goods hmm, something has really happened there What though? What? Construction complete. Swarming rocks, yeah, that's the exotic gases. Anna Liftmaster Bauer has gained a level. Nice. She's so good. Ah, my mouse needs more light speed. Can we also Construction. Ah, yeah, we can navigate with her keyboard that's better because I really like my precise snail speed mouse here Ira laser mind Akaria is despite recent skill improvements owing to accumulated experience scientist Yigo quickly the Makarov seems to be approaching the limits of his abilities no a limited Genius. And here's the Mozambique. Do we need the Mozambique? Here in Nautilus Chill. Construction complete. Let's actually bring it to where we need it. So nothing much here. Mm, Yum Station has a shipyard. Really like a trade hub and a... Uh, hangar Bay gives 10 trade protection, 1 protection range. Gun battery gives only 5. Yeah, let's go for a Hangar Bay. We have the Fleet Academy already. What else could be good? I mean, I really always like the deep space black side, so let's go for that. Enigmatic, Enigmatic Fortress has done something good. And Snailway Habitat, let's upgrade to the sacred nexus of, of the world. Inessa has a lot of workplaces now. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's all right. Look at that. That's a pure trade station. It, it gives us a lot of trade. And it only has habitation districts, not trade districts. Clerk jobs five. 
because we have tons more clerk jobs here. And we still have room for 40 more, as you can see here. The, the available housing is uh, from buildings 5, from districts 64. So we have uh, 69 housing available on one of these things. That is enough to fill that up fully if you go for only habitation districts. I mean, we have, let's see. 8 times 8, that, yeah, that's 64, that's okay, that's that's quite okay. And then some live in the habitat central control. Ah, the Dyson Sphere is complete. The Nautilus Ancient Message Systems primary has now been completely enveloped by a Nautiloid Dyson Sphere. Our engineers celebrate this as a great victory, and rightly so. We have achieved what only a handful of star empires in the history of the galaxy dared imagine the total subjugation of a star energy output nominal. 3,400! My goodness! Without taxes, 4,000! I'm at a loss how to explain this. Let's have a look. Ooh, shine. That's the thing that gives us a lot, a lot of power. Ooh, wow, the power. The power of the... Is that a D20, really? I have never thought of that, but is it a D20? We have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I, I think it could be a D20. Am I wrong? Is that a D20 here? Hovering in space or what is it? Someone needs to know this geometrical figure. I'm, I'm terrible in geometry. I was always good at maths, but I was terrible in geometry. <coughs> Outright terrible. I just got nothing in geometry, but I was so good in algebra that that was not a problem at all. Thankfully, I still regret that I'm so bad at geometry, but there it is. I'm very bad at geometry, so ex explain to me this this figure. Is that an equals or an edra or something like that? I want to know. I want to know. Hmm. Yeah, 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 there's that. Consumer goods. Mm. And in the future also a habitat going. Let's check that. We're in Inessa. Can we build something again here? I mean, we have started the coordination center. We could... Nothing here. There's tons where we could do something, right? Let's build a mega structure soon. Soon. Yeah, why not? And why not in in like in the next tick? In the next tick we could do that. It would really be good. Another now that we have so many resources, we could start some research again. That would be fine. That would be what we aspire. There's the 100k federation fleet. Nice. We have here fortress of the skies has finished its. It's thing, and we can build a habitat here, and we will. We have mastered a new technology. So that was nice. Let's yeah, fuel the growth. Then we have plain brain shell. Mip, the brainless choice. We have shield hit points coming. That's really nice. Let's go for more shield hit points. 
Xangangliona Mimam. Keeping that thing occupied. It is a good idea. It really is. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode where we uh, do some trades. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends.